To assess the acromioclavicular joint, we have the patient relaxed with the arm down by the side. To palpate the acromioclavicular joint first, it's always slightly more posterior than you think, and you can just pop the um, probe on, making sure that you stabilize the probe. Over the top of that, we can see the superior capsule and the ligament, and in between the two bones is the joint itself, and that's where we can look for an intraarticular effusion. Now, when assessing the acromioclavicular joint, it's really important to look at two things. The first is the distance between the clavicle and the acromion, particularly if somebody has had a traumatic injury such as falling off their bike. You can measure that distance. At the same time, you can also have a look at something called vertical laxity, which is looking at the height of the clavicle compared with the acromion. And it's important that the height of the clavicle is the same as the acromion. To assess the joint dynamically, you can use the patient's aggravating factors. So for example, if they get pain moving forwards, then you can bring the arm forwards and have a look at both of those two things we talked about. So are the bones moving apart or together? And is particularly the clavicular end moving up and down, so superior and inferiorly with the movement? You can also do a scarf test, so you must keep the AC joint nice and still, keeping the probe nice and stable, and ask the patient to bring the arm up and across their neck into a scarf position, so if you move up, to see if there's any capsular swelling between the two bones. And what you'll see is you'll see some lifting up of the capsule if there is a joint swelling. Thank you.